Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I thought I'd make a cute little winter card with the little bears from Lawn Fawn having a little snowball fight. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and cut one into a card size, which would be five and a half by four and a quarter, and another piece that is five and a half by four and a quarter. We're going to take from Lawn Fawn the Fancy Scallop Circle Stackable. We're going to take that largest one there. And I'm going to place it on that four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel. And I'm going to pull it down from the top just a little bit, maybe about a half an, half an inch. And don't worry that the bottom it looks like it's hanging over because we're not going to cut that far. We're only going to cut a portion of this. So I'm laying it in my Spellbinders Platinum and I'm lining up the plate only where I want to cut. So it's going to cut from the right side over. So from that line on the plate to, towards the right will be on, the only portion that cuts. And so now you can see that we have that cut out and I'm just going to take my scissors and trim away that portion. And don't worry about how you cut it. It's not going to matter. We're going to cover that later. So now you can see we have this cute little arched scalloped arch. So now take, taking the stitched hillside borders, I'm going to go ahead and figure about, about where that first hillside border is going to be. And I want it to be about halfway up the card there on the inside of that scalloped section. I'm going to tape that down with some purple tape. And then I'm going to die cut three others. And they're going to be staggered, each coming in a little bit further as we go towards the front. So two of those snow borders will sit behind the scallop and two will sit in front. Now I'm going to take some weathered wood Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to apply a little bit to those snow borders kind of around the edges and kind of in that lower, the lower sections of the, the snow banks there just for a little bit of texture where it might have a little bit of a shadow. Just trying to take a little bit of the white away from these little borders so that they stand out a little bit more. So I went ahead and I did all four of those. So it was hard to see, but when I put them together, you can see the difference between the white and the weathered wood areas. So now I want to take from the Out of This World stamp set, the eyes. I didn't have a snowy border in my collection. So I looked through my set and found these little eyes, and I thought they would make the perfect snowy background. So kind of look at the things that you have and use them in different ways. Try to make stretch out your stamps as best you can. So I'm just inking this up with the Versamark Watermark ink pad. And now I'm going to take the Lawn Fawn Textured White Embossing Powder and sprinkle that all over there. And this textured white is a nice, kind of fluffy looking uh, textured embossing, which I thought would be really nice for the snow. If you get any extra where you didn't want it, just take a little brush and brush away that excess. Now I went ahead and heat set that, and you can see that beautiful texture. So now I want to do the same thing for the inside of that scalloped area, just trying to figure out how much snow I need in that area there. And I did decide this time to come in with my uh, anti-static tool and just apply that powder first because I didn't want any of that embossing powder to stick. So I'm going ahead and stamping those, that snow again. And I'm going to apply that embossing powder just as I did before. You can see there's one little area there that didn't have any little snowflakes. So I'm going back in and stamping a couple more there. And I'm going to go ahead with my heat gun and heat set that. And again, you can see that texture there. So now I want to apply some ink to the background. I'm going to start with the shaded lilac. I'm kind of making a wintry sky here. And I'm going to apply it to both of these panels, just sort of down towards the bottom area. And of course, where that embossing powder is, it will not 
stick there. It will resist that. So then I'm coming in with the blueprint sketch color, which is a nice, pretty, a little bit uh, darker blue. And then I'm going to go back to that shaded lilac and just blend those two together. Here again, my table was dirty, so I'm just grabbing a scrap paper because this is my card and I want it to stay nice and clean on the back part. I decided to put it on a little piece of scrap paper and then just blend that out, the same as I did for the other section there. So now that will stack on top of the other one and you can see how pretty that looks. So now I want to do the, the couple of snow banks that are going to be behind that scallop. And I'm just got them positioned where I want them. So I'm just holding it down. And now I'm going to try to glue those two in place. I'm using the Lawn Fawn glue tube and I'm not going to put glue all the way up to the top. Just because I I'm going to be tucking a few things in behind these later, so I want to make sure that I have the ability to do that. And now for this panel, I want it to be about six scallops down from the top is what I had figured. So I'm just marking it with a pencil so that once I put the adhesive on it, I'll know exactly where it needs to go. Now because I did some adjusting, this is going to hang off the bottom just a little bit here. So I'm going to position that down first. And then I'm going to turn it over and you'll see that there's a little bit there that I need to trim off. So I'm just trimming that away. And now everything is going to be lined up just as it needs to be. So I'm going to the Sweet Smile set and I'm going to grab this, the gumballs and one of the, and the individual gumball. And then from the Berry Happy Holidays, the two bears. For you, dear set, I will grab that little front bear. And from the Winter Village set, I will take the that house there and the little smoke and the two trees. So I'm positioning everything in the Misty. And I'm going to grab my VersaFine Onyx Black ink pad. And I'm going to go ahead and ink those up. Now I do need to clean these off because I, I'm going to stamp another set of trees and three more of the gumballs. Now you could just as easily grab a block, acrylic block here to stamp these extra ones, but I went ahead and used the Misty, just cleaning them off. So I've got the four gumballs and four of the trees now. So now that little bear front bear didn't have a scarf. So I decided I would grab that other bear, the little skating bear, and use his scarf on this one. Again, just trying to stretch out what I do have. So I'm going to just cut that little scarf out and I'm going to attach it to that bear there. So they'll all look like winter bears. Now for the gumballs, I didn't have snowballs. So I decided to use the gumballs as my snowball pile and I trimmed around it leaving a little white border all the way around just to match everything else that we've done. Now I grabbed the coordinating dies and I'm going to go ahead, I tape those down with some purple tape and run those through my machine. So you can see here we have everything cut out. So I'm going to attach that little scarf using the Lawn Fawn glue tube to that little bear there. And you can see now you'll never know that he didn't have a little scarf on. So the next thing I'm going to do is start my coloring. I'm using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens and I'm going to take the light blue and I'm just kind of applying it in the little areas there where they kind of overlap, kind of where it would be darker. I'm not being fussy here. And then I'm going to take my water brush, the detailer tip water brush from Tim Holtz, and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. And I'm just blending those together. And that gives it a little bit of definition there. They look a little bit more frozen or frosty. So then I went ahead and did the little, the four little snowballs the same way. 
And now I'm coming in with the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen in the Crystal Clear just to give them a little shimmer. So now I'm going to take care of these little bears and I want to color them in with a couple shades of gray. So I'm using the light gray and the mid gray. I'm going to color these a little bit darker than I normally would because they're going to be against that snowy border and I want them to stand out enough. So I'm starting with the light gray and just applying it in those areas that would be the darkest. And then I'm coming in with the mid gray and just kind of touching it around in a few little areas to give a little shadow. And then I'm going back to that water brush, cleaning it off, and pulling those two colors together. And you know, if you've watched my videos before, that I always keep a scrap paper handy to keep cleaning that off so it doesn't get too, too dark on me and just keep checking it and blending those out. And you can see you get a really beautiful blend with the water and these, these markers. I also blend with other markers in, this, in different shades of the same tone and you'll see that in a minute here. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend out the top part there on his, his head. And now I'm going to grab that light pink and do the cheeks before I finish my blending here. And I'm just going to blend those a little bit better there just to soften them a bit. And then go back to the gray and finish blending that in. So now you can see how cute he looks. So I went ahead and did the exact same thing for the rest of these bears. The same shading, a little bit more or less on, on them just to make them look a little bit different. And then I went in and grabbed that pink and put a little bit in the ears there. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the scarf on this little guy. And I'm going to use light pink and pink. And in this case, I'm going to use the markers to do the blending. So as I mentioned before, you can either use the water brush to blend, or you can use uh, another shade or two tones of the same shade of color. And here I'm just applying the light pink, then the darker, and then blending out with that lighter pink again. And you really can get some beautiful shades with doing this technique here. And now I'm going to go back in with that darker pink and add it again to those edges and then use that light pink again to pull those two colors together. So this is really easy to do and these pens just have these beautiful detailed tips on them which make coloring in these little tiny uh, critters really easy to do. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the little bear here, but I did want to show you the colors. I'm using yellow and bright yellow. And now with this last one, I wanted to do a blue. So I'm going to use the cornflower blue and the cobalt blue. And I did the exact same thing. I just blended them out the same exact way. So those little bears look good. Now I'm going to grab this little house and I'm going to go ahead and color that in. Again, I'm going back to the light pink and the pink. So I'm going for an overall pastel palette here, kind of just pinks, blues, grays, um, kind of a periwinkle color. And now I'm just going to apply the lightest color first and then come in with that darker shade. So 
just cleaning off my water brush and in this case I'm going to use the water brush to do my blending because I want to also be removing some of the color. I want to kind of keep it light in the middle part of the house there. So I'm going to just move that up and then remove some color. And that's what you see me doing there on that scrap paper. Just kind of trying to keep it light in the center there. If you feel it gets too dark, you can always wet it a little bit and then blot it with a paper towel. Just blot up some color and then go back and color and blend some more. So with the water brush, you have a lot of flexibility as well. You can see I got a little bit of pink in that window there. So I'm just using the water to go in and pull that color off. Now I'm going to take the yellow and color in those windows. And then for the door, I'm going to just use a light gray. And then that, going back to the mid gray that we used before. So the mid gray and the light gray. And just do a little bit of shadowing here. And again, I'm going to use my water brush to do the blending. Now I'm going back to those two shades of gray again for the shadow on the roof or the roof color actually. And I'm adding a little shadowing underneath that snow. And back to the water brush to blend that in. Now I'm going to grab that light blue that we used on the snow before and just kind of highlight the top of that uh, snow just a little bit, make it a little, a little bit more frosty. And then I'm blending it in just a little bit. And then to finish the chimney, I'm going back in with that darker pink and I'm just going to pull those two together. So you can see how that looks. Now I'm going to grab that Spectrum to Noir sparkle pen. I'm adding a little sparkle to the windows. And I didn't clean that off well enough. So you can see there that it got a little bit of that yellowy tint on there. But I'm just going to apply some more and try to just blend it out as best I can. And in the end it didn't matter. So it was fine. You could always grab your water brush and blot it off again like we did before. And now that house has a little bit of sparkle. I don't know if you can see that there, but it looks really cute. So again, back to the light gray and the mid gray. I'm adding a little shadow just underneath the, the little sections of the tree here. Taking my water brush and blending them out. I just want them to look kind of like snowy trees, so I'm not going to add a lot of color here, just the grays, just for the shadowing. And I went ahead and did that for all of the trees. And then at the bottom, I just used that gray, dark gray, just to do the, the trunk of the tree there. Again, I was trying to stay in this color palette. And adding a little bit of the light gray to that the smoke that will be coming from the chimney there. Now I added a little sparkle pen to that as well. So now the bears are dry. I'm going to go back in now with my Jelly Roll white gel pen. And I thought I'd add a few little uh, stripes to the scarf. And then I decided to take the black Jelly Roll pen and going up next to that white stripe, I'm adding a black stripe as well just for a little bit more depth and a little variety. And then on the yellow scarf, I just thought I'd do little white polka dots. 
And then for the blue one, I'm going to do the stripes in the white. So those look all set. So now going back to the card itself, I want to attach these snow borders on here. So I'm using my Tombow mini tape. And I will give you that information down below as well for all of the products that I've used here. And I'm just applying it sort of towards the bottom section of this panel. So I don't need it up towards the top there. And then for this uh, smaller border, I'm going to use my foam mounting tape. I want to pop this up a little bit just for another little bit of dimension. Now I'm going to flip that whole panel over and apply foam mounting tape all over, except for that bottom area again that I don't need any there. And I will be tucking a few things in, so I want to make sure I have room for that. So I'm going to attach that to my card, and now my card front is pretty well set. So now the fun part, we get to put all these little critters on the front of this, and I love this part. So I'm adding a little glue here and putting the snowballs. He's looking kind of over this little pile of snowballs there. I got a little extra glue where I didn't need it, so I'm just removing it with the, with the tweezers there. And he's going to sit kind of behind that scalloped window there. And then this little guy is going to be in the, these two are going to be in the front with their snowballs. And basically I just need to cut them down. So I'm going to cut the skates off of. So here again, we're using something that is meant to be used as a skater, but we're just, by cutting their little skates off, you would never know that they're not just these little critters playing in the snow. So I'm doing the same thing for the other one, just cutting off his little skates. I think it's so much fun to look at your stamps and kind of see what you can do with them. Get creative with them and use them in many different ways. And here I'm going to just pop that one into place. And you'll see later that I add a little foam mounting tape under there because it was popped up and I thought his the top part of him should be popped up with some foam mounting tape. So now I'm going to put a little snowball in his hand there. And I'm going to put a little snowball in for the other one as well. This reminds me so much of my childhood. We spent so much time outside playing in the snow. We had a little field next to where I lived, so there was a pond. We went skating almost every day after school, and we went sledding all the time, and many snowball fights and we just had such a great time so this makes me happy and reminds me of many of those things that we did so now i'm just gluing in place all these other little pieces here the trees in the house just to kind of fill in that background a little bit of course we would always come home and my mother would be horrified that we tried to use the sleds to jump over the brook and of course, we didn't make it, so we would come home soaking wet, and she just thought that we were crazy, but we had such a good time. So now here I'm going to just apply a little bit of glue and add that little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney there. And this one here, I'm just going to glue it down. I thought I might pop it up, but I think I'm just going to glue that in place because there's already plenty of dimension there. And here again, I'm going back to that one and going to put a little bit of foam mounting tape behind his head there. Just because, like I say, I, I didn't want it to collapse at all. And I wanted it to be level with the rest of the card. So now I'm going to add my saying. I'm going back to that gumball set and I'm taking the words, have a ball. And I'm going to uh, use my Versamark ink. I'm using the anti-static powder tool to remove any static and I'm going to stamp that saying with the Versamark ink and then apply. Now here I'm using a white detail embossing powder and I will give you that information as well. Um, I thought the textured might be a little too thick for the saying so I did use a white detail embossing powder 
And here I'm just using my Fiskars cutter to trim that little uh, panel down to like a banner size. And I'm just clipping down the center and in from each side to create like a little flag banner here. And now I'm going to flip that over and put a little bit of foam mounting tape on that just to pop it up. And I'm positioning that down. I decided that I thought the black was maybe a little too stark, so I decided to come in with my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and make that whole panel a little bit sparkly. So you can kind of see that there. Kind of ties it in with the rest of the card, I thought. So you can see all the detail we have on this little snowball fight and how much fun it is. I just love the colors. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.